Okay guys, so I noticed, oh, hey y'all, mm -hmm. forgot to say hi. Anyway, so I noticed that in a few of my other videos that I've posted, um, I've been breaking out. Like when I'm watching my videos back and editing them, like, and I get close up, like, I didn't realize how bad I've been breaking out. Like I've always had clear skin, I've always had good skin, very clear, um, and then watching my videos back, like, I don't know what I'm doing, if I'm changing something in my diet, or if I'm not drinking enough water, or if I just need to clean my makeup brushes more often, or what. But anyway, watching the videos back, I was like, maybe I should switch up my skincare routine, because it's kind of been the same for a while. So I did get some new skincare products that I want to share with you guys. Um, and I just went to Ulta um, and picked out some things, looked up some things, took their skincare quiz online on their website to see what's best for me. I do have oily skin. Um, I feel like sometimes it's combination, sometimes it's oily, but I know skin don't work like that. So I just picked out what I thought would be best for me. And I know like it looks clear, but when I get close up y'all, like I've never had problems here and I've never had problems here. But for some reason, bumps is just showing up so i'm gonna show y'all what i got from ulta and what i'm gonna be using and i'm gonna use this stuff for the rest of this week today is wednesday october no oh i just lied today is wednesday november 14th so i'm gonna use it for the rest of this week and all of thanksgiving week and then i'm gonna come back and show you guys results of what's going on and i will i'm gonna take off all of this so you can kind of see what I'm talking about because right here it, my skin looks fine and looks good but like I can tell the difference in my skin so I just figured why not switch up the whole routine on me. I do have um, exfoliating gloves that I was using but I feel like those were a little bit too rough and then I had like one little bristle brush that I was using but I feel like that just got too nasty um, so like I haven't used those for months like I just threw them away but I did find this at Ulta and this is the advanced cleaning rotating facial brush cleansing yeah so it has two speeds it cleanses and exfoliates which that's really why I had the glove and I had the brush and now I just got something that does two in one um, it includes one rotating brush, two brush heads, a soft bristle, and a silicone one, um, a set of, one set of two AA batteries, and a brush stand. Y'all want to know what really got me to put this in my basket or put this in my bag while I was in Ulta? The one set of two AA batteries. Like, <laughs> If this didn't come with batteries, I wouldn't have got it because I'm too lazy to go to another store just to get batteries. So, uh, let's open it and see. And I'm, I'm gonna see how well this works. And then I'll see if I wanna invest in a Michael Todd brush. So it comes with a little stand. It says Ulta Beauty. This is the little brush. And it has the controls right there. And then it has this extra brush head. This is the silicone one, and then this is the bristle brush. And then of course it has the batteries in here. I also got more makeup wipes because I got a brand from HEB and they were like a dollar. So I had went all out and got like a whole bunch. But I also feel like those are contributing to messing up my skin because my skin just feels a little weird after I use those makeup wipes. So I got these makeup wipes. Um, they're just Ulta Beauty brand on the go cleansing makeup remover so I figured I would and it says for gentle cleaning for sensitive skin and it has vitamin E and pro vitamin B5 and it can take off face lip and eye mascara even waterproof mascara well we gonna see something that I'm not changing that does work for me is this Bior charcoal face wash and y'all like this does wonders for my skin like 
even if I don't use a wipe to take my makeup off, this is gonna take my makeup off. It's gonna leave my skin feeling so fresh and clean after. So I really like this. It says free your pores, Bio, Bior, and it's great for oily skin. I have oily skin, and so this that's what drew me to this. I also got this for a moisturizer, shea butter, um, because I don't want to over. I don't want to really dry out my skin because the more you dry your skin, the more your skin tries to produce oils and like it just tries to keep up like, oh, we dry, we don't want to be dry, so we're going to produce more oils to make you, you know, look like you just dipped your face in grease. So I'm not with that. But um, I do like Jergens. I just buy Jergens lotions like for my body. So I'm going to try using this on my face. The last thing that I got that's new that I will be using is this CeraVe um, Skin Renewing Cream Serum. It says, help reduce the appearance of fine lines, wrinkles, helps restore radiant skin, helps restore protective skin barrier, and yeah. Um, I just wanted to start using the serum because I feel like, why not? Like, let's just see what this one little step can what adding this one little step can do for my skin. So I have not used this before and I'm gonna try it. And it just says to apply in small dots where needed around the face and gently smooth until thoroughly absorbed. Use alone or under makeup once or twice daily. So, yeah. So I was on Pinterest looking for like a skincare routine for oily skin and it says Basically, one, take your makeup off. Um, so that can be with a wipe or with some type of soap, cleansing soap. So I did get wipes and then I got my Bior cleanser. And then it says to put your toner on, then your serum. And I already have a toner that I'm, I'm set, I'm good with. I use, um, I think it's like off brand. It's like, Walmart off brand equate something which hazel and then I go back and forth between Thayer's which hazel so either one of those is fine but to not over dry your skin out for oily girls um, I was reading and it says do your toner next then your serum and then your moisturizer so I'm gonna be trying that like I said for the rest of this week all of Thanksgiving week and then I'm gonna come back and show you guys if any of this has cleared up at all because I need to get back to how my skin was like in my earlier videos because the ones that I've been posting I'm just like really embarrassed to post them because I'm like Ugh, oh my god like I don't really look like that but I look like that in this video so yeah we're gonna try this new skin routine and try to see um, what it does for us so I'm gonna use all these products I just talked about now and take all my makeup off. So yeah. But I looked at reviews online before buying all of this stuff because I'm not just about putting a lot of stuff on my face. I'm even a little weary about using a serum. Like, if that serum doesn't work for me, I'm probably just gonna cut it out and not try to use the serum again. So, dang. Okay, Ulta Wipes. Let me tell y'all, that brand that I got from H-E-B, like I have to scrub so hard just to take off the makeup. Like, my skin is so red. I don't know why I'm so red. Like, dang. This is just like one little swipe and I guess you get what you pay for. Like the wipes I got from HEB, I really had to just like scrub and it would irritate my skin. But this wipe already, like it's not irritating my skin. It feels a little soothing. Wow. I'm never buying those wipes again. I'm never buying cheap wipes again in my life. And I think I just found my new favorite wipes. I know a lot of people use those Neutrogena wipes. 
I've heard really good things about those. I just, I just honestly didn't want to spend eight bucks on some wipes. 25 count. So like, this is 25 count, and then the Neutrogena wipes are 25 count. But the Neutrogena wipes are like eight bucks, and then these wipes were like five. No, it's probably like six. Okay. So, this is as much as I'm, I think this is pretty good, like, wow. Okay, so I'm gonna wet my face and put the cleanser on. Okay, so I've wet my face and then I'll put the soap on and I'm just gonna hurry up before I get soap in my eye. Did exactly what I didn't want to do, get soap in my eye. I do feel it deep down, like in my skin. Wow. Like I've just been cleaning my skin with my hands. I really want to get this problem area. Forehead. Usually my forehead is the issue, but wow, this is amazing. So I've pat dried my face. And I'll clean the brush and my skin feels like a peppermint okay so the next step is let me just get up and show y'all my problem areas that I was referring to like little bumps like this y'all like I've never had problems with So I'm just trying to get it together before we lose all hope. So the next step is putting on your toner and waiting until it's dry. So I'm just gonna use these cotton rounds with alcohol free. So I'm just gonna put it on so we can fix these dark spots. Okay, so my skin is pretty much dry pretty much it is dry so now I'm gonna put this on the problem areas which is all over I'm gonna put on this dragon shea butter and then we're done. Already my skin feels lighter. It feels cleaner. Um, so I'm just gonna give these products a try for a week and a half because there's half of this week and then all of Thanksgiving. So I'm gonna do this routine for all those days and see if we see a difference, y'all, because your girl needs some help with this. This is just ridiculous. So I'll be back in a week and a half. So real quick and different lighting, I wanted to show you guys again, um, just how far my skin has come since the little white bumps here and then just little blemishes here and there. Like I used to have a mark here um, from popping a pimple and it's like completely gone. Like, yeah. Oh wait, I think that's it. Or that's another mark. I don't know y'all, but 
with my combination skin i wanted to show y'all what helps me better let me open it up for y'all so 100 percent, i am not into putting a lot of chemicals and products and oils and all that on my face but with my combination skin i'm trying to i was trying to figure out like the right balance um between you know not putting too much drying stuff on my skin and not putting too much oily stuff on my skin because it sucks to have combination dry and oily skin um obviously my oily parts are my t-zone areas and then um dry parts are like right up in here the other parts of my face this area right here that i'm still working on trying to get rid of so what helps me keep my skin moist and not too dry after i've put on um non-oil products is this humidifier and let me just tell y'all like this helps eliminate another product of me putting on my face because it doesn't over dry my skin it adds moisture to my skin um when i'm sleeping overnight it's super quiet uh, you can get a one-year warranty with this product it has three mist levels uh, a built-in night light um, touch control and a 360 mist nozzle so after i've done all of my facial products or whatever that i'm putting my skincare products that i'm putting on my face and i want to make sure that i don't wake up looking that i don't wake up super dry i turn on my humidifier and like it's the perfect combination for my skin um i know a lot of people use humidifiers for like you know respiratory issues breathing issues but in my case like this is a whole new level for me like why put another product on my face when i can get a machine that eliminates me adding another product to my face and take care of my dry skin issue so overall this um humidifier has been great for me i'm gonna continue to use it great product go get you one for breathing issues or for skin issues like me Overall, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give this video a big thumbs up. Bye, guys. What we do here is go back, 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 back.